do you want to beautify your pc like just to make it a little bit more cuter and to match your aesthetics then i got you like look Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying hydrated. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rian and I'm a dark white fool. If you're coming back, welcome back. So this video, it won't be that long, trust. Um, If anything, it'll probably be in a like, maybe three sections or so maybe a few sections or so okay first thing first um do you guys want animated wallpaper like look at this like animated and interactive by the way like look how pretty this is so we're gonna start with that so i use wallpaper engine let me show you guys so um for this i think this is on steam but it costs like five dollars but don't worry i'm gonna give you guys an alternative i won't be showing you guys how to install it just because i don't have it but um i could find a video for you guys and link it there on how to install it so i literally use wallpaper engines for all my animated um wallpaper like if you guys watch my video you can see most of the time in my intros i always have um an animated wallpaper which is super cute so you can my go-to searches or either hello kitty um sanrio either pink i don't use anime just because there's a lot of anime stuff there and then sometimes like the type of anime um style i want is not there if that makes sense but whatever you're into you can literally find here and let's say you find it all you have to do is subscribe and then boom it'll be added to your library and then you can just um find what you want and then to set it up you just click choose display and then basically you can pick whatever you want from your stuff you click it you find what you want for here if you are using more than one min monitors then you click on the next monitor and then you find what you want for that and yeah that's literally it for this the alternate version for this is called lively wallpaper um i'll link it down so you guys can download it and i'll try to find a video like, so you guys can see how to install it whatever or how it works but um this is the alternate free version for you guys if you want so next things next um i'm gonna try guys how to do cursors so i have all my like cute little aesthetic stuff in this folder so basically these are all my folder icons and my cursor icons so i'm going to show you guys um the site that i get to download it and i'm going to show you guys how to do it okay okay so there's two sites that you can use you can even use deviant it has a lot of art we just type in um cursors and then you'll see all the cursors that it has to offer but my favorite site to use is this it's called rw designer so look there's so many cute little cursors that you can find i downloaded this like yesterday as well so i have this this looks like the hq version so I might re-download it, but um, yeah, let's say you want to do this. So all you have to do is click download and then it'll download for you. Don't worry, it might say this, like insecure, but it's grand, don't worry. As long as you have like an antivirus on your PC, you're good. I use Norton, so it whenever I download it, it never detects it and say, oh, um, you know, whatever. So I'm grand. Okay, so first thing first, you download it like that. Boom. So the good thing is it's already converted into an Annie. It has to be like a dot Annie, like animated cursor, dot animated. Uh, that Annie, that Annie. Okay, stop. It has to be a dot Annie for it to work. So boom, you have it there. After you finish extract it, then go to your settings, your mouse settings actually. This will pop up scroll down additional mouse settings you click that so this is where you're gonna do all your stuff so this is all the presets that i'm created from mine so let me just click it on so normal select right so you just click browse and then you find where you put your folders i think mine was in um documents right yeah so documents extend folders cinema roll. so this is where everything is so all you have to do now is just match the name to the name that's in here so this is normal select normal select boom that's done help select you find help select uh pink and blue oh dear you have options here so you just click that working in background you find that so i hope you guys get a drift of it basically you just basically matching everything and if the folder pack that you downloaded don't have everything because like let's say if you don't have like these two or these three actually but it mostly it doesn't have the two if it doesn't have the two two minutes you can leave the two blank because we don't really use these cursors a lot i will lie i hardly see these cursors so but sometimes i use the same cursors like this has the first one has normal select so yeah so when you're done doing that now all you have to do is click apply and boom and that's it and then when you're done it'll automatically you know it'll automatically be that let me just click the ones that are done so let's say we do that then you click apply and then boom look at my little cinema roll cursor 
isn't it cute but i'm gonna go back to what i have whatever i switched back to my hello kitty um cursor just because i have hello kitty at the background so that's fine i'm gonna show you guys how to increase the size of the cursor if it's too small for you so all you have to do is click the set and go back to the setting that you were in mouse pointer he says pointer size and all you have to do is just like drag this up and down or whatever you want mind you sometimes when you do this it'll revert back to the og one so you can change it first or you can just always just bring it up back you know what i mean i'm okay with the smallest size so i'm just go back here and then you have to reset it so let me type in mouse setting mouse setting and then additional and then you find where it is and then just click apply and boom it'll it'll go back to the state that it was with the size of the cursor that you picked yeah so that's that for um a customized cursor okay so if you guys want to change the folders like if you want to change all your folders to one um folder icon so basically it'll change all the default folders icon in in your computer at once like at one time instead of you going through all of them like da, 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 doing all that so this is the video i use i'm gonna link it there because they they'll be able to explain it better than i did so i'll make sure i link this video to show you guys how to do that so you guys can pop over there and watch this and then pop back or you guys can leave it for last um whichever you want so since that's out of the way this, this i'm gonna show you guys how to change single folders like like if you want a certain folder to have cute icons or you know whatever you want to be on it like for example this is my literally example this is my mod folder for the sims 4 so each folder have a different icon i just want to beautify a lid just because it's cute so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this now um go on red ketchup it's a site to convert um pngs to ico because ico like you need that ico for it to work basically but just follow along okay so first thing first make a folder please please be not your downloads folder do not leave it in your downloads folder so i have mine here so let's just say i have like um cute folder icons it doesn't matter name it whatever you want so this is all i'll put all my cute folder icons in here so you can find any icon you want like i normally type in like cute um icons or i mostly go like hello kitty icons but these aren't the ones that i like i love the treaty icons so you see all the treaty but like these are the ones i love so whatever you want and you want it to be treaty make sure you put treaty in it so i normally use remove background from adobe that's what i normally use so let me just find that and then i'll find the og photo drag it see how it deletes the background and then let me just scroll all the way down can i get the download option boom and then don't know and then now i'm gonna reconvert it so it can turn into an icon drop it and then scroll all the way down aspect original ratio download download and then boom now i'm gonna drop it back into the folder that i had and then this is it do you see how it looks now no background images now it's actually looks like an icon and a sticker you click this go back to the folder like you want to change show more option properties customize folder icon change icon and then you find where it is you know you find where you put the folders boom open okay apply okay and boom look how cute it looks so you can make view you can make it bigger if you want or you know if it's too big you can do large or you can do medium if you want it's whatever you want to be honest but that's how to beautify um your folders like to give it cute little images and yeah that's just it for this video i just want to do this and someone asked me how to change the icon so i'm like you know what let me just do a quick little video for you guys so yeah that's just that and um, thank you guys for watching stay safe stay hydrated and yeah that's just it bye bye Mwah. kisses Love you.